Yo, what is up everyone? Today we're playing some tower control ranked mode on Snapper Canal and I am using the ink brush with the splat bomb sub and the splashdown special. I don't think the ink brush is the best in this game mode personally because if you're on top of the tower it's nice to have some range but it's certainly not bad especially on this map where there's a lot of opportunities to flank and hop around everyone. So let's see what we can do. At the, st at the start I'm not really going for the tower itself, more just want to clear, clear the area, then when I think it's clear, hop on, just like that, looking at the team that did have my back, and oh my god, i seen him coming, but I missed him, it's too slow, oh, he's got the hero roller up there, which is bad, because we do use our special charge, but luckily these handy spawn things to get us back in there fast, it's always nice to ink when you're coming back, just so you can definitely make it, kill him, one hit, I'm one hit, is it going to get the triple? Absolutely gorgeous. Take them and let's grab the tower quickly. So it's quite even so far. It's always hard for over the middle. I can see this one coming here, so I'm going to try and head them off. Beautiful, and that is a lovely double. You can camp these. It's a bit, a bit of a scummy tactic, I guess. But people are always going to be coming up there. And now I'm taking a bit more of a slayer role, but as long as I stay near the tower and help my team, I don't think that's too bad. I don't think there's nothing wrong with taking a slayer role per se, as long as you're playing the objective staying with it, getting on there when you need to and doing what you can. So I'm going to hop on now and then jump off to Doc Emo. As you can see it's very contested at the minute but we do reach this checkpoint and I'm going to... Oh! 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 We killed each other there. That's really good for us because it means we can get it further. A trade close to their base makes it tight for them. Oh! I should have looked. I'm going to go here because it looks relatively safe. I could be wrong. And I am wrong but I'm not punished. So I'm going to go the long way around because uh, the floor is heavily green. And I do want to be careful. I need my team with me, especially with having a melee-esque weapon, a very close range weapon. But they're all, all around it. Oh, a one-for-one -one trade, it's not great, to be honest with you. Very in the middle of the map, and there is three minutes left. If it stays neutral, we'll definitely win because they've only got 19 points left. So neutral is not a bad position for us if we can make it work. But I definitely, uh, the further it is in their base, the more safer it is for us. I knew they were coming for me there. So now I'm going to hop on just to get it moving. But I will jump off just so I'm not a huge target for this slosher. Hopefully kill it. I'm not sure where he's run off to, so I'm just pulling back. Nope. Looks like we can catch someone as well. Oh, no. I'm going to use my ult. Oh, nice cheeky double there. Beautiful. And they've got the tower, but we can come up behind them here. And there's another kill. And let's hop back up and uh, capture it back. Bloody hell, there we are. And we are taking control back of the tower. 93 remaining for us. So that's not too bad. By 93 remaining for us, I mean, that's how far they've got to go. I know it's what they need to win, sorry. Just to clarify. Going to bomb that area because it's going to be very highly populated. We have lost control of the tower, but again, as long as it stays central, we win. So we don't have to push super aggressively. That's why I'm being a bit more tactical in my movements. Oh! I'm going to panic hit that, but I do get a kill. I'm rewarded. Oh, and I'm going to dodge that by moving the tower. Oh, hop down there though. Oh, it has finished. So I'm going to hop back on. It's quite peaceful at the minute. I can see a little squid coming here though. Beautiful, nice little splatter bomb. And there is another. Beautiful again. Hop back on. This is very dangerous area here just because you are over water. It's hard to escape. And I'm being challenged. Hop off, hop on. I think that's a good thing. And don't stay on the objective because that's where they're going to think you're going to be. And that's what they're going to go for. So hop off. Slide back on. I'm going to ult just turn being hit. And it's on the checkpoint right at the end. Oh, just couldn't clear. If I save my ult then instead of... I wouldn't say I panic ult. I wanted to get it off then. But if I uh, did ult then, I think it would have been safer. I'm going to go to the uh, my teammate next to the beacon. It's super safe and uh, close to the objective. They do only have six left. I, they can always get it at the end because there is overtime. So we do need to be careful on like that. I got stuck in an awkward spot, but luckily my teammates can carry. Uh, that left spot is gorgeous as long as I just point to my screen like you could see. Left spot of my teammate is absolutely beautiful as long as that uh, right squid's not coming. So I will gladly take this. Get back into the fight super fast. Kill the splat roller. And uh, oh, someone behind me. Oh, come on, grenade. Oh. If we could two for one, that would have been gorgeous. I know I'm dying a lot towards the end, but there's only 25 seconds left, so I just want to put my body body on the line to get this defended so we can get the win. As soon as 17 seconds won, wore out, all we need to do is capture it to win. 
You're very busy. Oh, and this is poor play from me. I was on such a streak and I'm choking at the end. So they are on one of our checkpoints. I think uh, going right is more beneficial. So time is up, but they are obviously in overtime. So we just need to absolutely lather this objective. I can see some spawning here. They are beautiful. We do get it. So that's first game of today, but it looks like I will do a double header. That was quite exciting. I enjoy using the inbrush. I'll use the inbrush again for the next game. Keep it consistent. So we'll see you then. Hey guys, we are back. Same map, same game mode, same weapon. Let's see if we can have as much success as last time. So, our team's fairly average. I think uh, I'm the lowest rank out of everyone, as always. But anyway, let's go ahead. So, I'm going to go to the middle, drop a bomb to the side. Didn't get no one, but I think it's always nice to do that. You never know, even though it does use a lot of ink with the uh, thing. Oh, with the ink brush, it's not too bad. And I do get an ice grenade there. Playing very defensively at the minute. Going to go around the back. This is dangerous because our team have the objective. I feel quite confident in doing this. And it is going to let me pick up a kill on the tent missile guy. And his teammate here. I can at least get this guy. As soon as he spawns, as long as I don't use all my ink. Beautiful. So now we get a 2 for 1 because of that. And that's the person from the other game. And 3 for 1 in the end. Take each other out. So not too bad. I don't know if that was worth, I don't know if I should have stayed with the objective, to be honest, I think it's debatable with how long it took our team. Oh, close. It was cheeky grenades. And let's see if we can turn on this guy. Beautiful. Right, we need to get up on here. God bloody hell, let me up please. Oh no, I'm getting tent to miss up, so I just need to move. Oh, I had to uh, kind of panic all that. Just so I didn't die. And I, the same guy was shooting me that entire time. But I thought I could try and sneak around the tower. Because I thought there's no way I'm going to be able to defeat him in a direct engagement. Just because I was already damaged. So this is very hard for And it looks like we are losing this one at the moment. But that means nothing. As is always time to play for more. I need to get off there because this guy sees me. And I will pop back up now. Pop up, pop down, pop off, pop on. Just keep on guessing where you are at all times instead of walking directly in front of the spawn like that. But yeah, I am getting punished a lot this game. I think that has something to do with using the ink brush again. In a map that's dedicated about one tiny little zone, it is uh, very hard using a melee weapon. But I am going to keep moving now. And that was embarrassing. To be fair, that's got really decent range at Jet Sculpture. I've not used other weapons in this game, but that has some range to it. Maybe I need to invest with some tower control. But I'm going to hop back on now. Keep it going. Do some damage. Pop back around. Do some more damage while he's ulting. So yeah, hopefully I get behind here. Beautiful. And take on the duelies with the roll. Lovely, we do get them. Drop the grenade to cover my tracks. And jump on the objective if I can now. Bit of a panic all again, I need to get better at that. But we are doing good. Look at that range those three are pushing on us there. Drop a grenade in, hit retreat back. I need to get back on though. Beautiful. We are winning overall though. I can see this person coming down on right flank and I do not like that at all. So I'm going to stop that. And because I did that, I didn't give up the tower for it. Was it worth? I'm not entirely sure. But we do get behind them again. Milling suction bombs need to be careful. I love Splatoon, but it's so hectic. There's so much talk about it. Uh, we are back in control and I'm picking this game back up. I know they're going to come from here. Oh! Oh, I just couldn't dodge it. I got stuck in a bit of greening. And that's a bit annoying because that is going to waste my ult. But we'll see what we can do. I can see someone guy going around the right here. Oh, but we can land on this easily. Cheeky double. Stop that. Cut that right out. I'm getting pushed back. We are winning overall at the moment, but again, this is super tight. Super tight indeed. I'm going to hit that. Yes, I do get it. And I'm going to get back on. I'm going to hop off because I can see he's to our right. There he is. Hop back around. I, they keep dropping off here, so I'll see if I can get a cheeky pick up. But we might be... Yes, here we are. It's a bit naughty that, but 
if they're going to do the same thing every single time, I can capitalise on that. And I will grab that and then dodge these missiles. Waiting for them, but they looks like they are coming around the opposite side now. Back on the tower. Just, I'm just not giving them a moment. Grab this guy here. I'm back into it again. Oh! Can I get the pick up? I, I, to be honest, I lost him in the chaos, but it looks like they are dead. I'm just going to keep defending the tower from this onslaught that's coming. But when it gets to about this point, it looks like they do change to the left. But we did get past this checkpoint, and that is huge. It's the furthest we've pushed it, yeah. With 20 seconds left. We did die. It was hard to retreat there. Everything was covered. They can't push it past 82 in this amount of time, so it's going to come to overtime. It's just whether we can knock them off after this 8 seconds or not. So I'm going to wait. Oh, we took the tower. I'm going to save my grenade to the last moment and go for it there. And we do get it. So that's going to be it for today. Back to back, same map, same weapons. I hope this was entertaining for you. If it was, let me know. If you want me to change anything, again, just please let me know. But thank you for watching. Let's have a look at the stats, and then I'll say bye. Perfect, and I did get 22, 23, 24, 26 kills. I can do maths, which was the most on the team by quite a lot. And I did think I played quite an important role in pushing. But it's up to you guys. Let me know how you think I did. And if you got any tips, please let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.